Okay, today we're going to um, find the area of a parallelogram. Let me draw what a parallelogram looks like. So what you guys might be thinking to yourselves is, what is a parallelogram? And what does a parallelogram look like? Well, a parallelogram, put it into view, is a four-sided quadrilateral where two of the sides are parallel. So you can see in my parallelogram, I drew a figure that had four sides and two pairs of the sides, these two, are parallel and these two are parallel. This is the height, the staggered line going up from the bottom to the top is the height of the parallelogram and we'll make that seven feet. This side, the diagonal side of the parallelogram we'll say that is eight feet and the bottom or the base of the parallelogram we'll call that five feet. So how do you find the area of a parallelogram? That's what we're trying to figure out. Well, first thing that I think we should know is what is the formula for finding the area of a parallelogram? And the formula is A equals B which is the base times the height. And we'll write here on the side what each variable stands for. So the A is the area. The B is the base. The H is the height. So in this figure, we have to figure out what is the area. So we'll be searching for what is A. So if we're looking for A, then in this figure, they gave us then what the base is, and they gave us what the height. Let's see if we can figure that out. So it, back to the figure over here, we see that the staggered line going from the bottom to the top represent the height. So we know that H equals 7 feet. The bottom, or the baseline of the parallelogram, which is the base, we see that it is 5 feet. So we know that B is 5 feet. Well, they gave us some additional information here and you can see that some of the kids get confused on this line and it's a diagonal line and they said that is eight feet this information we do not need they put this in here to make sure that students could understand the difference between the height which is up and down <laughs>
So what we're going to do is use the formula that's given, and then we're going to substitute in. A, which represents the area, is what we still have to figure out. So the formula, as we stated before, is A equals base times the height. A is what we're trying to figure out, so we just rewrite it. We're going to substitute in 5 for B, because we figured from looking at the figure that the base is 5 feet. And we know that uh, when a two variables together with no operation in between, or a variable and a number, we know that's multiplication. And since h represents 7 feet, we're going to multiply that by 5. So we're going to rewrite a. 5 times 7 equals 35 feet squared. And that is how we find the area of a parallelogram. And we're going to end it off with a sentence. So the area is 35 square